Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Shauna Plant Based Lifestyle. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and always remember your health is your wealth. So this week I'm going to show you how I made my pumpkin soup. So stay tuned for this video. Very rich, very or orange or yellow. Here are some of the ingredients that I'll be using in my pumpkin soup. Of course, I have pumpkin, I have thyme, I have pepper, I have chocho. This is called chocho in Jamaica. I can't remember what it is called in the OECS. Two Irish potatoes, I have carrots, and these are local carrots. So they're not as big as imported carrots, but these are very nutritious, still very good. I have white yam, and I have butternut squash. So firstly, I'm going to peel and cut my pumpkin and my carrots and I'll boil these. I added five cups of water to the pot. I diced my carrots and my pumpkin. Some of the pumpkin has the skin on it because there's a lot of nutrients in the skin so I'll cook some with it. This will cut big because I'm going to crush most of the pumpkin so that my soup is nice and creamy and yellow. So now I add all these. So I will cook these until the pumpkins are tender. And then I add some more ingredients to the pot. So I'm checking in on my pumpkin and it's cooking guys. So I'm going to proceed now and crush most of them. This is not the best pumpkin, it's so trashy but I uh, have to work with it. The camera was rolling. Let's show you what I added. I added my yam, my pistophil, my butternut, and my Irish potato. And I also added one and a quarter cups of water, and I'll allow this to boil for 10 minutes, and then I add my dumpling. So now I'm going to add my dumplings to the pot. I'm going to use some, make some small dumplings this soup nothing too big just small and I make some long ones also also make some long ones these are called spinners I have a pepper I have some parsley and I have some chopped um, scallion so I just add these again stir I have a um, vegetable mix. You can add vegetable stock to it if you want. You can add anything, but I love the flavor of the vegetable mix. I'm going to add half of it. And at this stage, you can also taste it to see if you want to add any additional salt to taste. So I just add a little bit of salt. And I add the remaining vegetable mix and I allow this to cook for another five to seven minutes. So when the dumplings start floating, you know it's cooked and it's ready. As you can see, it's very colorful, a lot of yellow, orange vegetables. Put the lid on and not put it all the way because it will boil over five to seven minutes. Then it be ready. Checking in back on my pumpkin soup, guys. Can see this is so rich, very rich, very or orange or yellow, and orange vegetables contains a lot of vitamin C, which is good for your immune system, potassium that helps the body build fluids and blood pressure regulated. So if you trouble with blood pressure, you can eat a lot of orange fruit, vegetables, and make soups also. And you can also consume the fruits. It is high in folate, which is good for cell, cell development. So there's a lot of benefits right here. I will remove the stem of the thyme and our soup is ready. So I'll play. So this is the final meatless pumpkin soup and it's very colorful, very rich because I use a lot of pumpkins and I do have a lot of orange vegetables and I mentioned there are a lot of health benefits. So I'll just give it a stir so you see. So I do have some of the pumpkin skin. As I said, it has nutrients and I want all my nutrients as possible. Carrots, 
have my little small dumpling, I have yam, I have my Christophine. And guys, this is what it looks like and I will definitely enjoy this. I do have many more soup videos because I do love soup. So go ahead and check out my other videos and thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So until my next video, do take care, stay blessed, stay safe. Always remember, your health is your wealth.